This is Augsburg College, obviously, and we're going to do a quick tour of the restaurants in the Cedar Riverside neighborhood. If you look down at my shoes, those low top chucks are soaking wet. Look at the snow. It's a great day to walk around and check out the neighborhood. Now across the street, you're going to find uh, Jimmy John's. It's going to be the closest restaurant. To, I don't know why I said restaurant. The closest place you can find food off campus. It's right across the street, right across 21st Avenue. Um, everyone loves Jimmy John's. Me, I'm not a huge fan. Too many sprouts. I don't really like sprouts. But again, they deliver. You should never deliver. Have them deliver. It's a block away. Now at Seven Corners, um, just up Cedar, you're going to find a Chipotle, Quiznos, and the Noodles. Great food, of course. Um, Seven Corners is a great little place to hang out. Um, it's a nice little mix of Augsburg students and U of M students because it's kind of right there in the middle of the two. Um, you're also going to find a lot of bars in Seven Corners. Not all of them will let you eat there, but some of them will. Um, for instance, uh, Town Hall Brewery, which we're going to see in about two seconds. Um, I believe until 8 or 9 o'clock, uh, you can go in there if you're under 21 and get one of the best burgers in town. It's some fries too, they're pretty good. They have root beer float, it's, and it's really nice inside. It's, it's a great little place. It's not a dive bar like these places, Bullwinkles and McMahon Bar. But yeah, anyway. Let's move on. This is uh, see the corner of Cedar and Riverside. That's the Riverside Cafe right there. Nice little place to eat. And there's the little intersection. Like kind of the heart of the Augsburg neighborhood is Cedar Riverside. That's where we're located. And this is where we start our little, I don't know, I want to say ethnic journey. Um, this is Maps Coffee Shop. Um, great place to go if you're sick of the Augsburg Coffee Shop and you just want to go somewhere and get away. And they have free Wi-Fi, which is great. Um, nice and quiet. Really cool. Um, that's Red Sea Bar. A lot of times they have 18 plus nights where they have concerts and stuff. Kind of fun to go to. Um, that's Kilimanjaro Cafe. And again, we are going to be traveling the world with this. Um, we've got the Wienery, which serves hot dogs, any kind of hot dog you can think of, from around the world, around the United States. Specialties galore. They have the best hot dogs. That's my favorite restaurant in the world. It's just extremely dirty inside, but it's amazing and small. That's True Thai Restaurant. A great buffet. Um, everybody loves Thai food. And it's right next to Cedar Cultural Center, which you should definitely visit. Uh, the Suga Restaurant and uh, Cafe. And this is where we get into East Africa. Uh, like I said, East African American menu. Um, it's Mediterranean deli. Amazing lamb. Um, I love lamb. I don't eat a lot of meat, but I love lamb. Um, and every place has parking in the back. But honestly, around Cedar Avenue, this is about three blocks away from campus. Real quick walk. Now these are the what a lot of Oxford students call the stacks. Um, a lot of immigrants coming to Minneapolis move into those stacks, and that kind of creates this amazing diversity in the Cedar Riverside neighborhood, adding to the great diversity of restaurants. Here's Tam Tam's African restaurant. Um, now it's pan-African, but you're going to find a large Ethiopian Somalian flavor, I suppose you could say. Um, here's one Chinese restaurant on Riverside Avenue, again about two, three blocks away from campus. Notice the price, 6.25 buffet, not bad for lunch. It's about what you're going to be paying, actually a little less than what you'd be paying for lunch upstairs in the cafeteria. Now here's Lucky Dragon. Lucky Dragon's a... I should just say it's a fun place to be. Um, it's a very interesting restaurant. And here the buffet is five sixty-five. Now with Chinese food, everyone knows you kind of get what you pay for. You get a um, hurt stomach, or you're gonna have an amazing time. Now this is the Hard Times Cafe. Hard Times Cafe just had a fire, so they just gutted it and redid it. And it's amazing. Uh, they have vegetarian stuff, vegan stuff, um, organic food. Just, you know, they do eggs. They're open pretty much all night. They close for maybe an hour, hour and a half, I think, at night, like four o'clock in the morning. We spend a lot of time studying there. Back when it smelled like cigarettes, really bad. Now this is Saint Martin's Table. Saint Martin's Table is a huge part of Augsburg. A lot of students volunteer there, serve food. Um, they have, uh, you know, like teaching. And, um, what do you call that? You know, you help people study and stuff like that. Tutoring. 
Um, they have a restaurant and a bookstore where they serve vegetarian soups. Again, you can read it. Bottom says homemade bread. They serve organic foods. Now, again, this is just kind of a quick overview of the Cedar Riverside neighborhood. Um, in the future, hopefully in the next month or so, I'll go over the Seward neighborhood, which is on the south side of Highway 94, um, just across the bridge from Augsburg, where, where they also have a lot of really good restaurants. Um, and yeah, hopefully you'll see that soon.